This is your hints video for lesson 3.5, sol solving multi-step equations. So I have number 15 on here first. I'm gonna solve this by first subtracting four from both sides. That gets the term that has h by itself. It's not completely by itself yet because it's still multiplied by 2.2, but at least that term is by itself. Now to get the h completely by itself, I need to divide both sides of the equation by 2.2. And I get h equals, I'm gonna think, how many times does 2.2 go into 7.7? 2.2 uh, times three would be 6.6, .6, and then it would fit in another half time, so that would be three and a half. But I have a negative divided by positive, so that's negative 3.5. Then I can go ahead and check my solution by putting negative 3.5 back into my equation. And I don't know that I can do 2.2 times 3.5 in my head, so I'm gonna go ahead and write this out. Two times five is 10, two times three is six, plus the one is seven. I get 10 again, and I get seven again. So I get seven, seven, zero. The decimal is gonna be two places over, so that's 7.7. .7. So now I have four plus negative 7.7 .7 equals negative 3.7, and that is true. So we are doing well on that one. I can erase this and give myself a little bit more space. All right, and this next one, I've got another decimal problem to solve. I'm gonna start by adding 5.18 to both sides, and I get 7.3y equals, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space to work here. Um, let's see, I'm adding a negative plus a positive, so that means I'm really subtracting 51.90 minus 5.18. And I'm gonna borrow here, 10 minus eight is two, seven, 51 minus five is 46. Okay, so my answer here is negative 46.72, 7.3y equals negative 46.72. Next, I need to divide both sides by 7.3. All right, this is kind of an ugly one here. Um, I don't like to divide by a decimal, so I'm going to multiply, oops, I said it and then I didn't do it. I'm gonna multiply by 10 to make this 467.2 and I'm gonna divide by 73. So I'm thinking to myself, how many times does 73 go into four and 46? It doesn't, so eh, I kind of have this big one here. I need to think how many times does 73 go into 467? So if I estimate and think about 75, I could do 75 times two is 150. I multiply that by three and I get 450. So that is 75 times six is 450. So 73 times six would be just uh, 12 less than that. So that would be 438. Okay, and then I'm gonna subtract, and I'm gonna bring down my two, and I need to put a decimal up here in my answer. And 73, again, if I think about 75, 75 times four is 300. I think 75, 73 times four is gonna be exactly 292. So this is y equals negative 6.4. All right, and then we can go ahead and check our solution by putting that back into our original equation, negative 6.4 minus 5.18 equals negative 51.9. And our computation is just a little bit messy here too, so I'm gonna do 7.3 times 6.4, 12, 28 plus one is 29. Zero as a placeholder, six times three is 18. 42 plus one is 43. Okay, so I'm gonna put my decimal point two places over. So this is negative 46.72 minus 5.18, and 
and I want to see if that's equal to negative 51.9. And I really have a negative plus a negative here, so I need to add 46.72 and 5.18, and hopefully I'm going to get 51.9. Let's see if we do. Yes. Okay, so negative 51.9 equals negative 51.9. It was a lot of computation, but it worked. All right, next we have an example with fractions. Usually those are a little bit easier. Um, so I have two terms on the left. My two is positive, right? So what I need to do is subtract two from both sides. And what I'm left with is negative b over three is equal to negative 5 halves minus 2. Okay, so negative 5 halves is negative 4 and a half minus, sorry, is negative 2 and a half minus 2 will be negative 4 and a half. Right, negative 5 and 5 over 2 is negative 2 and a half minus 2 is negative 4 and a half. And I could also write that as negative b over 3 equals negative 9 halves. If we want to write that as an improper fraction. And then what we need to do is multiply both sides of the equation by negative 3. That will leave us with positive b on the left. Negative times negative is positive. And on the right side, I have negative times negative is also positive. That's 27 halves or we could say that's 13 and a half. And we can go ahead and check our work by putting this back into our equation. So two minus um, 13 and a half divided by three equals negative five halves. So then we need to kind of think about what is this 13 and a half divided by three mean? So what we're really saying is 13 and a half, which is 27 halves divided by three or 27 over halves time, 27 over two times one third. And we have a common factor of three here. So we end up getting nine halves. So is it true that two minus nine halves is equal to negative five halves? Well, let's think of this as in terms of mixed numbers and that might help us a little bit. Is two minus four and a half equal to negative two and a half? Yes, that would be true. So we got that one correct. All right, and then next I'm gonna do number 25. Um, let's see, again, we have two terms on the left. We need to subtract the four-fifths term from each side. So I'm left with negative 9 over 4v equals, and what I need is 7 eighths minus four-fifths. So I need a common denominator here. I'm going to use 40. So that's 35 over 40 minus... Uh, 4 times 8 is 32 over 40. So that's 3 over 40. So I have 9 over 4v equals 3 over 40. Now I need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative 9 fourths, which is negative 4 ninths. And this cancels. They multiply to 1. I get V equals, and let's see, I'm going to use a different color to simplify here. 4 and 40 have a common factor of 4. 3 and 9 have a common factor of 3. So when I multiply across, I have a positive times a negative, so it's negative 1 over 30. And I can go ahead and check that. All right, so we'll go ahead and put negative 1 over 30 back into the original equation. Negative 1 over 30 plus 4 fifths equals 7 eighths. And let's see, it looks like we have a common factor of 3. So this is negative times negative is positive 3 over 40 
plus 4 fifths. I'll go ahead and write that as a fraction over 40. That would be 32 over 40 equals 7 eighths, which would be 35 over 40. So we have 35 over 40 equals 35 over 40. So that one worked. All right, for these next few, we are going to write an equation and then solve. So starting at 1 p.m., the temperature changes negative 4 degrees per hour. How many hours will it take to reach 1 degrees? So we're looking for hours. I'm going to say um, let H equals hours. And at 1 o'clock, it looks like we're at 35 degrees. So if we start at 35 degrees and we add negative 4 degrees for every hour, negative 4 times H, how many hours will it take for this to equal negative 1? Okay, so I can go ahead and subtract 35 from each side. I'm going to write my negative 4 times H as just negative 4H equals negative 36. Then I'm going to divide by negative 4, and we get H equals 9. So we have 9 hours. Our next problem is with bowling. So it costs $2.50 to rent bowling shoes, and then each game costs $2.25. You have $9.25, how many games can you bowl? So we're gonna say we're gonna let G equal games. And it's $2.50 to rent the shoes. You only have to do that once. And then it's $2.25 times however many games you play. And that's gonna be equal to $9.25. So I'm gonna let you finish that one up and solve it, but it's all set up for you. All right, and then our next one, we're gonna solve this equation. This time we need to use the distributive property. So we'll multiply negative four times m, and then we'll multiply negative four times three, and all of that is gonna equal 24. So I could rewrite this as negative four m minus 12 equals 24 if I want to. I'll add 12 to each side. I get negative 4m equals 36, and then I'll divide by negative 4 to get m equals negative 9. And my last one here is a geometry problem. We're told that the perimeter of the parallelogram is 102 feet. So we're going to add up all four sides, m plus 3m plus another m on this side plus another 3m on the bottom, all of that equals 102. So we can simplify this. 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 is 8m equals 102, and I'll let you solve it from there.